So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of transferring a beat from the machine software to your DAW to finish it, to arrange it, to mix it and so on. I'm gonna be using Ableton Live, but you can do it with any DAW. What up people, I'm Lowheat and on this channel I do videos about machine and Ableton and everything to do with the machine MK3, the Ableton push and so on. I do Ableton live packs and beat making videos of course, so subscribe to the channel if you like what you see here. Also machine users, let me know if you use the machine as a VST or as a standalone because I mostly use it as a standalone and I'm interested to hear how you use it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So when I start making a beat, I basically record each part onto each onto its own group. So my first group has the drums. On the second group, it's a it's a shaker. Then on the third group, I've recorded some keys, some electric piano. Group D has the bass line. Then group E is my main lead melody. And some bells in group F. So the whole thing sounds like this. after I've done my first scene, I duplicate the scene by pressing shift and the duplicate button here, which creates a new scene. And then I delete some of the patterns, record them again and do this a couple of times. So then I have three or four or five scenes, each uh, similar to each other, but different to create different parts of the song, like intro, verse, chorus, etc. So once I have enough material to work with, I go to my scene menu and then I append each scene to the song mode, to the arrangement mode in machine. In the software, you can do this by right clicking on the scene and choosing append to song. So after I've appended my scenes to the song mode, I switch to song mode and basically here's my entire arrangement, which is not really a real arrangement. These are just all of the scenes arranged in consecutive order because basically the machine song mode is really limited as an arranger so you need to export it to your DAW to do a proper arrangement and uh, mixing and stuff. So after I've laid all my scenes in consecutive order I now need to export each and every sound on it as a separate track. So yeah, now you can drag and drop the patterns directly from machine into Ableton but this will actually be more work in my opinion and it's much easier for me to just export the scenes as they were arranged in the song view. One very useful thing you can do now is go to the to your drum kit because if you're using the stock drum kits, they'll have all 16 pads filled with sounds and I actually delete the sounds that I haven't used in the beat and you'll see in a moment why. So then I press command E and there's the export song as audio window. So I select range all and as a source I select sound so it will export my sounds as a separate tracks. So yeah, the drums are all in the same group. And if I export the groups, they will be exported as one single track, which is not what I want, of course. So if I hadn't deleted the sounds that I wasn't using here in my drums, there would be a very long list of sounds here. And if you don't remember which ones you were using, you would end up with some empty tracks when you export. So it really makes your life much easier if you just delete the sounds that you haven't used. So in terms of the options, I don't use the normalize because I want to preserve the relationship between the sounds in the track in terms of volume. And normalizing will actually set them all to 0 dB. I turn on the loop optimize option. So if loop optimize option is off, your exported patterns may have a tail after them to accommodate any delays, reverbs or anything that remains after 
the pattern has finished. But yeah, the thing is, at least in Ableton, it messes up with the warping. While it's not much of a problem to, to fix this, I prefer to loop optimize them so Ableton can warp them automatically pretty easy. I don't split them by section because it would be much easier for me to do it in Ableton. And as a sample rate, type and bit depth, you see what I've selected. So then I browse my computer, I choose a folder where to export all the sounds. As I export them, I uh, include in the name the BPM of the track and the key of the track. You never know when this information is going to be useful. And then I press export and I'm pretty much done in machine. So yeah, in Ableton, I open an empty session navigate to the folder where I exported all the tracks and then I select them all and drag them onto my Ableton session. If I just drop them like this, all the WAV files will be arranged one after the other on this one audio channel and I of course want them on separate channels. That's why I hold command and this automatically distributes them so that basically each one is on its separate channel. So I set the tempo and actually I turn off warping because I don't really need it. The tracks will fit perfectly with my project and I don't need to have them warped. So then I split whatever I have here into scenes. So I basically navigate with the loop bracket, select the portion of the arrangement that I want to split. Then I press command D. So I have my first scene, then I have my second scene. Again, I select it with the loop bracket, press command E, then the next scene again command E and so I basically have the scenes separated as they were in machine. So now I can start arranging it. I've actually already arranged the track and I will show you the finished track in a moment but I'll give you some hints how to do it at least in Ableton and yes yeah, so I just copy and paste each scene as many times as I need to to fill out the entire arrangement and then I start subtracting from the arrangement like re removing some parts So yeah, here's actually the entire finished project. So yeah, I've done some light mixing, I've added some effects to the drums, I've EQ'd some parts, I grouped the drums and I put some saturation on them. So let's hear how it all sounds. Hey yo guys, so thanks for watching. I hope the video was useful for you, but uh, don't hesitate to drop me a comment if you, have, if you have any questions or if you need to share your process with working in machine and finalizing tracks. And uh, see you in the next video. Peace, yo!